Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be giving you a few sleeping tips, specifically five sleeping tips to help you go to sleep. As a person with bipolar I do find it very hard to sleep sometimes, especially if I'm on a like if I'm on the cusp of having a mental breakdown, if I'm overexcited and obviously if I'm stressed so those factors can really contribute to me not getting enough sleep so I thought this video would be really helpful for people that do struggle with sleep. First one I feel like everyone always suggests this to people like it goes without saying but reading a book before bed now I always used to think like I don't want to read like what's it gonna do but once I tried it I'm not gonna lie I don't always do it I haven't picked up a book for ages I'm not gonna lie but when I do do it, it really does help. So even if it's like you buy a book and you think, I'm going to put it down and like just read it every evening before I go to bed, it really does help. Because I feel like it when your eyes are tired enough, they'll stop straining to see the words and you'll just think, well, my mind has to like shut down now. So yeah, number one is read a book. And number two is to turn down your brightness if you're going to use your phone before bed. If you're one of those people that doesn't have any books, doesn't like, doesn't, might not be able to read or doesn't like to read, for example, if you're going to use your phone before bed, turn down the brightness so that when you're looking at it, you're straining to see it so that when it gets darker and darker, like, you'll think, oh, my eye, like, just like the reading, your eyes can't take any more, they're straining too much and you feel tired and you feel like you want to go to sleep, your mind just shuts down. But I wouldn't really recommend using your phone like minutes before bed, maybe like an hour, so you've got that time to like wind down. But like using your phone before bed isn't really like a good suggestion. But if you're gonna do it, turn the brightness down. So the third tip is to drink herbal tea before bed. This can be minutes before bed, it doesn't have to be an hour. But if it is an hour and you want to get an early night, then go for it. But like I would say, I would recommend these ones, hemp tea, chamomile, or verbena, also known as blue vervain, which is a herb that just helps you to relax. You might have not heard of it, but if you do want to read up on it, there's definitely a lot of information on Google about it, but it definitely relaxes you. Whenever I feel, like, stressed, like, I do have a drink of that, and it just calms me right down. It just makes me feel so mellow, so I definitely do recommend that for bed, and also hemp or chamomile. And number four is to listen to relaxing music or sounds. When I was younger, when I couldn't go to sleep, my mum would be like, why don't you listen to like birds chirping, like bird music, bird music, bird sounds. And I think there's one on YouTube called Bird Song. I could be wrong if it's not called Bird Song, then it's bird, relaxing bird sounds. But that always, like minutes into that, I just knock out, like, because all you're thinking about is when you're in bed and you've got your eyes closed, all you're thinking about is you and that sound in the moment. If it's relaxing, then it'll definitely get you off to sleep. Now, last but not least, number five is to... I forgot number five, hold on. <laughs> yes, I remember now. So, last but not least, number five is to do a relaxing activity one hour before bed. So, one day, I actually did some colouring and I played some music. And I just felt so relaxed. I did watch Love Island afterwards, I'm not going to lie. But it just put me into the mood of like winding down. I thought, if I do this an hour before bed every day, like I would literally just feel like just zoning out. But yeah, I haven't done it again, but I certainly will if it's one of those nights where I feel like I've got too much energy and I need to wind down and be able to sleep. Like, because it's getting too much. But... I recommend colouring or even doing a face mask and listening to music, like just something that will get you into like the mood of feeling tired and sleepy. Thank you for listening guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, bye!